On the 20th of August 2024, the Minister of Housing and Urban Development, Architect Ahmed Musa Dangiwa, inaugurated the Steering Committee on National Housing Data. This committee was set up to develop a framework for addressing one of the most pressing challenges facing the country, the accurate generation and analysis of housing data which is needed for evidence-based planning in the housing sector. The steering committee had its first maiden meeting at the ministry's headquarters in Abuja, delivering his opening remarks. The permanent secretary of the Federal Ministry of Housing and Urban Development, Dr. Marcus O. Ogumbi, encouraged the committee members to share their insights for every contribution. He added that these contributions are invaluable and it is through collective efforts that innovation can be identified, approached, address data gaps, and develop a comprehensive understanding of the housing sector. I see the zeal. Please, let's keep the flat line. Let's keep it up. Let's keep the spirit up. Mostly, the first meeting is like this. Then you now begin to run after one and one another. Please, don't let it be like that. Please, let's keep up. The, let's keep up the spirit. Let's let's please attack it. I know as we walk, we'll be encouraged to come the more. Mm. Once we see that what we are doing is uh, yielding, yeah, we'll be encouraged to, to yeah. come. It's only when we are, when we are walking and they don't see anything. I was reading something, something yesterday. They compare, compare it to a rocking, a rocking chair. That you have a lot of motion. No movement. But no movement. No movement. <laughs> <laughs> yesterday, like, I said, ah, let's just say that is a lot of motion, a lot of motion. Mm. Energy is better, mm. but no progress. Please, our, our will not be like that. The MD and CEO of Nigeria Mortgage Refinance Company, NMRC, Kane De Ogundimo, highlighted the project's overview, goals and deliverables, roles and responsibilities, communication plan and meetings, technical working group, cost of expenses and project roadmap, and milestones for smooth sailing of the steering committee. There are three key goals uh, that we have, which I call the deliverables. The first one you see uh, framework for setting up the data center itself. So there's one thing about uh, uh, getting data, uh, but the, where do we house them and all of that. Uh, temporarily we can house them in a portal that NMRC will provide, uh, but we need to have something that is national, you know, and so that's the first task. Uh, uh, what will that data center look like, where will it be housed, uh, and all of those things. So there will be a technical committee that will address that issue all around the data warehouse itself or the data center. So that's our first delivery that we need to have all the modalities, the technical aspects, uh, and we'll pull resources from everywhere that we can get so that we have something that is holistic and good for the nation. The next uh, deliverable, which is on page uh, three, uh, framework for data gathering data, is uh, where do we get this data from? You know, both the public and the private sector. Uh, let me just uh, 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 bring to the attention of this committee that we have started working on this uh, for some time. Uh, so we have a center called Center for Affordable Housing that is in South Africa. Uh, what they have done is they have looked at all the countries in Africa and came up with 117, 117 data indicators. These are the indicators that everyone uses around the world to get data on housing. So we said, okay, if we get this 117 right, uh, then we'll be able to report. So there is, there is consistency. It's not as if uh, we are reporting something here and it's different from what they're reporting in South Africa or what they're reporting in Ghana. So these are standardized data points that we need to, to get. Uh, so we, we started working with them and we have all that list. That is what is on the... Uh, metadata that you will see with some definition and all of that. And then within ourselves, uh, the Nigerian Population Commission, the National Bureau of Statistics, the Central Bank, we've been working on this and saying which organizations will provide each of these data sets and what is the frequency, you know. Some we need to get monthly, some we need to get quarterly, some we need, you know. 
So work has been going on extensively on this. Uh, uh, so uh, again, that deliverable is what are the data sets that we need? What are the channels through which we'll get them? Will some be by email? Will we have to exchange files? Will we have to, so that it gets into a data, data center and all of that. So what's the, so that's the second deliverable. And the third thing is, you know, it's one thing to get data. It's one thing to have it in the warehouse. The other is now how to massage it so that it becomes interpretable and useful. And who are those that we'll send them to? Uh, again, uh, even just me, when I looked at this, I think a key uh, stakeholder that was omitted, which is the most important, you know, here, uh, this was, uh, I have to call Taufik out, he said uh, uh, institutions, retail and all of that. I think the first people that should get this data are policymakers, like uh, Ministry of Housing and all of that, you know. So I think we will also refine that even in this deliverable. So, who are we sending data to? Number one, they must be policymakers, then institutional investors, and other stakeholders, you know, anyone that needs the data. So those are the three critical elements that we need, uh, that are, are deliverables for us. The first one is the data center itself. The, model. the second one is uh, impute the data we need, how do we get them, where do we get them, and all of that. And the other is once we have this data, how do we disseminate them, what's the frequency, where do they go into, and all of that. Uh, so those are the deliverables that we have. Other things, uh, we, as I said, it's a document that we can tweak uh, and make uh, better as we go along. And then next, you know, it's just the rules of the steering committee. I won't go through that in detail. I think we have comments or changes or amendments that we need to make on that. Uh, this is the forum for it. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll look at that. And if on page four, we talked about the timeline, how frequently do we want to meet again. This is our best, we're just putting this forward. Uh, this committee itself will determine when we should meet. How frequently should the steering committee meet? You know, uh, we're just putting dates here. Uh, we wrote second, but uh, for the first one, it's actually ninth now. And then we can tweak the dates as we go along. So again, these are not set in stone, but I think we should meet as, uh, as often as possible. But the work actually will be done by the technical community, so they have to meet more frequently. The executive director of the Housing Development Advocacy Network, HDAN, Festus Adebayo, alongside other committee members, gave their observations and contributions that are necessary for reflective policy making and planning. We need something that is verifiable, something that is credible. And the coordinating chairman said it must also have a national account. Where were they going to put it? must have a national account. There are many issues to look into when I'm back on this problem. If I am happy, see the CBA here, who was the business? And the APC. I must especially thank the Director General of the Indian Corporation. Coming here personally shows the importance of this matter to them. What are the housing characteristics? What is the population they want to develop? Households have characteristics. Many issues we are going to look at. And I think this will be a dead bit company. That is technical. Going to not, not go to visit, there's going to be disagreement, controversy, argument <laughs> between those who have the facts. <laughs> so, I want to appeal to the December. Please let us start the journey immediately. <laughs> I must tell you that Nigeria's institution of essence of your and words will be co opted. The president should be notified and will be co because we also have what it takes. So, when you talk about real estate, a bit different from housing. Mm. Housing connotes residential, mm. real estate connotes that you're talking of not just residential, mm. but commercial and mm. public buildings. Correct. And, all of that. Correct. and when we're collecting information, our focus is essentially on housing. Mm -hmm. So we may have a structure for collecting real estate, but then we need to also have some measure, I mean, some uh, way of building it down to also be specific to housing as well, so that we get the full, both the fuller picture of the real estate market, but also. 
the accession of housing corporation provides what we call state of the nation address on the first Monday on every habitant day. And so the I like them to be part of the technical committee also. Because even as I'm talking to you, data has been gathered from all housing operations for on the housing developments in all the states of the population. So that's something. The permanent secretary thanked the honorable minister and minister of state for the trust reposed on this committee to deliver on this critical national assignment. This is Housing TV Africa on YouTube and click on the subscribe button. Subscribe to Housing TV Africa to stay updated on latest happenings in Nigeria's housing sector. Follow our social media pages, like and share our posts on Facebook, Housing TV Africa, on Twitter, Housing TV Africa, Instagram, Housing TV Africa. Join the conversation and keep up with latest housing updates.